Hey guys, uh, due to popular demand, I'm going to take a video of uh, my 89 Volkswagen just so that you guys have the best thing to go on when making a decision on whether you want to come out and uh, do a test drive. Uh, it is a cold, it's cold, so, um, you know, everything's not one of those pre-warmed startups or anything like that. It's going to be, uh, everything's honest. So, here's the front. Um, not too bad. You got a little ding right there. But other than that, it seems to be okay. Um, if you go down the bodywork, everything is straight as an arrow. Top is also fairly new. Um, I'll take a side shot, step out of the way. They have the uh, Borbe replica rims. Um, so those are pretty cool. Has the Tectonic Tunings catback exhaust. There is some paint rub on the uh, corner right here. But uh, it's pretty easy to repair. There's the back, again straight. Get a picture of the lines. Bodywork is perfectly straight. Gas cap is operated with key. It's pretty nifty when you're at the uh, pump watch people's reactions to that. Alright, we'll go under the hood. And again, good safety inspection. Alright, under the hood, it's just the typical 1.8 liter engine. Um, I replaced the distributor and the spark plug wires. Um, and then air filter with the Porsche 90, uh, 60 millimeter fuel plate, uh, brand new Bosch fuel filter, brand new battery, manufactured, I don't know if you can see it, September 11th, or September of 2011. So that's pretty new. Um, oil, as you can tell, doesn't really use much of it. But, um, which is good for a vehicle this age. Um, coolant. Again, another way you can tell it's cold. I, it's pretty full. I don't know if you can see, but the level's pretty full, so it doesn't leak there. Um, let me start this thing up and go on a test drive. Interior is a little dirty. It, it needs a uh, like a steam clean. I did it before, but I've had a lot of friends sit in it. So, but no rips, no tears. This pulls out, it stretches out. Um, everything else is pretty clean. Back seats again, no rips, no tears. Uh, it does have an aftermarket Alpine radio. Uh, dome light works when you put it in. Open the door. Um, it does have an aftermarket radio in Alpine. And it does have this uh, uh, auxiliary out cord. It does work. Um, so it's pretty cool if you have an iPod or just any sort of phone. Windshield wipers. And uh, all the gauges also do work, as you can see, getting voltage, and the oil is below the charts, so. As you can see, it starts up first, first crank of the uh, key. It's in the cold startup phase. And I forgot to turn the windshield wipers off. Okay, let's turn on the radio.
Oh, I, I usually use my phone, so I can't. Is that it? Yeah, as you can tell, radio works. Uh, speakers in here, I can't, you know if you can't tell, but they're aftermarket, they're, uh, I believe they're Sony's. But anyway. Uh, gauges all work. Fuel, the, uh, oil, it's, uh, voltage on the left, oil pressure on the middle, and oil temperature on the right-hand side. And uh, as you can tell, it just idles steady. It's a little cold, so it's idling a little high. But uh, I'm gonna turn the radio off just so you guys can listen. To. It is a uh, five-speed with the original ball shifter. Kind of up. Hill. I hate this. Okay. Alright. Again, it doesn't really make any weird noises. Very smooth. It does make some rattles when it's cold out, but easily shifts through all the gears. a really nice driving car. It's not too loud. Um, I want to wait till it warms up a little bit before I gun it, but um, it's just a very nice car. You get some looks. See all the gear smooths, no crunching. It's four and fifth. So again, just a nice car. You're not really it's not very fast as you can tell We're going what 50 miles an hour. Uh, brakes are good, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up on email. And, uh, happy bidding.